the United Arab list that will be created in, for the first time in the next election is creation actually of the threshold percentage. It's a, a change, strategic change, that actually threaten part of the political, the existing political parties like Balad uh, and even Hadash. And uh, the three, four political parties, they needed to take a decision if they would cooperate for the current election. This uh, demand of unity was public demand. It forced all political powers to accept this public demand. It had been mainstreamed. People uh, would like to see the Arab community un uh, united behind one uh, political party. Almost 75% of the Arab community vote for non-Zionist political parties, which means that this is the majority of the Arab community. We know that in the last election, only 56% of the Arab community did participate in the election, which means that uh, this, if only 56 will participate in this election, it will mean that we will have the same number of seats, 11 seats, 12 seats maximum. Uh, what the people that are designing this political party are expecting is actually that this political party will get uh, 13 and 14 seats and not only 12 seats. In the real game, if we can get 51% of the Jewish and Arab public to support two-state solution, to support end of the occupation, to support end of the separation, to, to, to stand against racism, the crisis, uh, the real crisis in the Arab community is between the northern side of the Islamic movement and the all other political groups. You know, uh, the northern side of the Islamic movement which feel much more close to Hamas, to uh, organizations like Hamas, they uh, were against the establishment of uh, the new institutions. They uh, would like to get uh, all the Arab community to direct election. In the sense of the political uh, participation, there is two uh, kind of Islamic movements in Israel, at least two, you know, because there is also more and more small groups. But one is the uh, northern side, uh, which boycott the Israeli election, which uh, uh, call to, uh, for and support the establishment of the follow-up committee of Arab citizens by direct election, and there is uh, uh, the southern side of the Islamic movement that they will have probably three seats in the next uh, Knesset election, that they uh, accept the political participation. It's very, uh, very strong ideological uh, discourse uh, that is, is taking place and narratives. And uh, the question when the Arab community will take a decision to create a political umbrella, to create the Arab political parliament, uh, which powers, which, uh, uh, how it will be divided. This is what the uh, northern side of the Islamic movement looking for. They would like to see their power in the, in, the, in the election, in the direct election, and they want to show that actually the northern side of the Islamic movement is the leading political power in the uh, Arab community, and that's why they are calling uh, for direct election of the Arab community leadership. Uh, usually political uh, groups uh, in Israel don't have the possibility to build think tanks, to build uh, institutions. And this is what has been built in the last 15 years in the civil society organizations. Now the political structure need, need to identify how to lead. People are, are, would like to see people that are standing uh, and facing and leading the community to better situation and leading also the debate about two-state solution, about the occupation in different way. There is a good mood, you know, especially with the change that have been taking place with Hadash and even with the Islamic movement, new faces, the fact that the three people, three young people have been elected in Hadash and they, you know, Ayman Odi and Aida Touma and Yusuf Jabarin, Dr. Yusuf Jabarin, they are new faces, fresh faces, and uh, the people, the public would like to see fresh faces and fresh discourse also, which, uh, you know, of course, we understand the campaign against the Arab community, where we, of course, know that this campaign targeting the legitimacy of our citizenship is a campaign that we need to face it, and it's not to face it with uh, general slogans. People would like to see professionals, and if you lo look at uh, the list, the United list, you will see uh, good quality of people, 
that uh, would, will, will be representing the Arab community, people that have PhD in law, that can sit in the uh, Justice Committee and create discussion. We know that we are playing in very limited uh, uh, political system and very limited democratic system, that it's, uh, it immediately can react in a way that may affect all the institutions of the Arab community. The Arab community need to change its political structure and its institutions. As a result of this unity in the election, in the Israel election, you will see more changes that will be taking place also in the next 10 years.